Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Uh, Frail is Chairman and President and CEO of Nucor Corporation. He's also the Chairman of American Iron Steel Institute. He began with Nucor in 1991, became CEO and President in January of 2013. When I was first elected, Nucor was one of the largest companies in my district. And since then, they've continued to grow uh, by being one of the most innovative steel makers in the country, not only in processing and manufacturing, but also in workforce development, strategic thinking, and that, that positions them as one of the top steel producing companies in the nation. And with that, uh, Mr. Ferriola, you are recognized. Uh, thank you, Congressman. Chairman Crawford and Boston, Vice Chairman Velaskowski, on behalf of our 25,000 teammates, I would like to thank you for this opportunity. I am John Ferriola, Chairman, CEO, and President of Nucor Corporation. Nucor is the largest steel producer in the United States and North America's largest recycler. I'll get straight to the point. The President got it right. By imposing tariffs on imported steel, President Trump is sending a strong message that dumping steel into our market will no longer be tolerated. As you are well aware, global production overcapacity has caused a surge of unfairly traded steel imports into our market. The President recognized the devastating impact of these imports and took bold action to initiate the 232 investigation. The Commerce Department rightfully concluded that imports threatened the ability of the domestic steel industry to supply our national defense and our critical infrastructure needs. We urge you to be vigilant against efforts to undermine the President's action. These tariffs will help level the playing field and will lead to increased capacity utilization for domestic steelmakers. What does this mean for Nucor? Well, it means that for our teammates, more production, and that means heftier paychecks because of our performance-based compensation system. For our company, tariffs will for further enable us to keep doing what we have been doing for decades, investing in our teammates, our facilities, and new technologies. Over the last nine years, we have invested a total of $8 billion in acquisitions and capital investments to grow our company and broaden our product offering. For example, we recently announced that we will build two rebar micro mills, one in Florida and one in Missouri. Together, these projects represent an investment of $500 million and will create more than 500 jobs. In Chairman Crawford's district, we are getting ready to open our new specialty cold mill facility. This $230 million investment will expand our capability to produce lighter gauge, higher strength sheet steels that automakers use and need to meet higher fuel requirement coming in the, in the near future. The President's action will allow us to realize a return on our investments, which will help get our industry back on a sustainable path for the long term. While the industry did experience improved financial results in 2017, after tax profits still lag far behind most other manufacturing sectors, the financial results we received last year will only be sustainable by aggressively addressing unfairly traded imports as the President is doing. In conclusion, stronger trade enforcement coupled with tax reform are creating an attractive investment environment for steel. And we could see an even more dramatic boost if we could work together to pass an infrastructure plan and one that contains a strong Buy American provision. We appreciate your leadership and the support that the members of this caucus have given to our industry for so many years. Our teammates and their families thank you all. The President's decisive and meaningful trained action and congressional leadership in enacting tax reform will ensure that the best days of the American steel industry are still to come. Thank you very much.